hi welcome back to my channel so if you don't already know i'm engaged i thought i would do a little wedding series of preparing and basically planning my wedding so i mean we've done a little bit so far but i just thought i'd go straight back to the beginning and prop up like plan my wedding with you guys i think it'd be really fun it'd be so much fun for me to watch back as well so for the first video i'm kind of going to be doing like a mood board um just kind of showing you the first steps of like my full process to be honest with you we haven't really done too much planning already we've looked at one venue um but that's literally really it because we want to do it in two years but i'm kind of like mm, maybe we could do it next year so it's still debating exactly when we want to do it but yeah so welcome to my new series so i have this book that i was given on our engagement party and i think one of i think actually no my mum got it for me but i don't know if it was for our engagement party but i'm just gonna go through some of this and kind of like work out exactly what sort of vibe we're going for for the wedding obviously i'm doing this on my own but james will have a big input in it um but he just says to me like do what you want and then if you don't like it i'll tell you so that's kind of the vibe we're going for at the moment but yeah kind of scroll through this book so we've got so we're supposed to put pictures and stuff in so that'll be a picture of me and james um then the next bit is like inspiration zone so i was going to do like a big mood board but I think what I'm going to do is, because I was like, how am I going to film that? Because I wanted to do it like on Pinterest and stuff. So I think what I'm going to do is kind of maybe just go through this book, show you some like inspiration pictures on the screen um, of what I'm what in my head. That way we can kind of see as we go if my plans change and all of that jazz. So the first bit is inspiration. So I probably will make a little mood board and I'll put it here and I'll literally tell you all about it. I'm going to stand this side just in case I have to add pictures so I can pop them on here. <clears throat> so the first page is like inspirations. So I think for me, I want loads of flowers, kind of like not barn vibes, but kind of like I want it to be a bit more like rustic. Um, that kind of vibe that I want to go for. Um, I'm thinking like greens is the colour I want to go for. I'll find some pictures so I can explain to you um, what the vibe is that I like. So yeah, this is the kind of vibe I'm going for. Again, I'll post the pictures on. So lots of flowers, lots of like greenery, um, very like boho, I guess. Boho chic is that the vibe. Um, that is kind of what I want. I don't want anything too like fancy. I'm just kind of like... Yeah, I want it to be just fun vibes. That is what I'm going for. So that's kind of like the inspiration. I don't know yet if I want to do sage green or like a dark forest green because I love both. And obviously I think I need to work out like, I think for like, I want to know what James wants to wear and like what he wants the groomers to wear for me to be able to like decide which would be better for like the whole vibe. But I guess I could kind of use like both, just use a mixture of greens, a bit of sage, a bit of forest. But yeah, I definitely think greens is the vibe at the moment, just because I want like so many flowers and stuff. I think green will be nice because it won't clash too much because of like leaves. So that is my thought process on that. Let's go to another page. I'm basically just gonna go through this book, which obviously, I can't answer all the questions at the moment, but uh, I saw the inspiration for just that. The next is kind of like dress and shoes. So dress-wise, um, there's no one that I like particularly when I have my dress made by or where it's from or anything like that. Um, I don't know if I should put the dresses in that I like because I may, to be fair, I may choose something completely different. So I think I will, and I'll just tell you, I'm just not to watch. 
so James if you're watching this skip this part <laughs> um but yeah so these are the sort of vibes that I want to go for I love the off the shoulder like the mermaid shade um maybe a slit in the leg I feel like that would be quite nice um I think with like the outdoorsiness that I want the wedding I feel like the off the shoulder looks so pretty but I don't want like a short dress so I feel like that's a way in which you can be a bit cooler <laughs> But that is the kind of vibe I like. Um, not 100% sure yet, but I haven't tried any dresses on, so I'm not going to know. But this is the kind of picture I have in my head of what I like, or what I think I'm going to like. Because again, I could put it on and I could hate it. Regarding shoes, I have no idea. I guess I'm thinking maybe nude. I don't know and like small heels I'm not a heels gal so I probably will be changing into trainers or flip flops straight away so it's just to walk down the aisle too basically so I'm not really bothered I can get those cheap I don't really mind I'll probably never wear them again because like I said I'm not really a heels type of gal the next bit is hair okay this is like I'm kind of unsure about one at the moment I've got extensions in I don't know if I'm gonna have extensions when we're getting married i mean i hope so because if i don't my hair's gonna look so short and so thin but then i'm like if i've got extensions in, i don't really want an updo so i might do like a half down half up kind of thing especially if my shoulders are out with the dress i think that would look so nice so i don't know 100 percent again i'll put some pictures in of what sort of stuff i like but who I just don't know yet. This is so tricky because like some days I'm like, I love my hair up, some days I'm like, I love my hair down. And I think with extensions it's hard as well, I think, guess, because I don't, I can't properly style them myself, whereas a hairdresser will be able to style my hair properly. And then along with makeup. Now, I feel like I'm so particular with how I like my makeup. So, I mean, I was gonna say, I'll probably end up doing it myself. I won't, I'll definitely get someone to do it, but yeah i don't really know i think definitely like just like natural nudes something really light maybe i don't know nothing too bronzy i don't think because obviously i'm quite pale so i feel like if i have a really bronzy face it's not gonna look nice um just everything yeah light and natural that's what i'm thinking no like dark eyes i don't want that at all um something like this <laughs> but obviously the, i literally don't have much big one today so it'll be a bit more smoother <laughs> oh a ring so with my engagement ring there is actually a little band that comes with it i don't know um i'm probably gonna go for that i haven't actually seen it but i james kind of tried to describe it to me and i was like that's what i want anyway so i think for rings that's kind of what i want to go for it's basically the same as this band obviously just without the the diamond on the top and I feel like that's gonna look because I just love daintiness and I think that will be not too chunky and I'll still be able to put my engagement ring with it and I feel like it will look so nice so that's my idea of the ring I guess that one was quite an easy option because it already kind of had one that come with it oh okay it says it something old something shiny and new something borrowed something blue okay these I have no idea I'm not gonna try and even you know <laughs> guess what they could be and that's costs we don't have a budget properly yet but we're just kind of seeing where stuff goes like um what we can get for the cheapest things then it comes on to like the green okay. fairy tale tastic other people helping it with it okay these are things that obviously I'm not going to say on here because, I mean, James already has his best man and I am yet to decide on my maid one and bridesmaids, but again, I will not say that right now because all of this stuff is kind of like, wait for the reveals, like the serious bit, ceremony and stuff. Okay, possible dates are everything. So we would like a June wedding, we're thinking, not too hot, but obviously some warmth from the June. Flowers are going to be at its prime. Um, that is kind of when we want to have it. We wanted to have it on Friday the 13th, June 2025. But if we choose it for next year, we won't be able to have it on, the, on that date. 
but whatever's closest to the 15th because that's our when we that's our anniversary day and we were like oh let's keep it similar so that is the around day that we want to go to but definitely a June wedding because we wanted to do April but then obviously I wanted a bit more of a summer wedding so we were like let's go for June because May is always a bit rainy and grey and dull and we were like mm. Might it be best if the wedding is kind of outside, outside, outside <laughs> venues. Like I said, we saw one venue um, and it was like an outdoor one with like a marquee and me, I was like, I literally fell in love with it. But we were like, we cannot just look at one venue and be like, that is the venue we want. So we are going to look at other places, but we're yet to decide which ones because there's a lot of like factors we need to look at when looking at venues. <laughs> Music. So at first we were like, yes, let's do live music. But now we're thinking just the DJ will suffice. We like, didn't really, we don't really need a DJ. I mean, a live band, like it would be cool and it would sound incredible. But we just want the tunes pump in. We don't really care that like someone is sick in the chorus, which is not, I don't know. That's just kind of our vibe. We were like, it's just a party at the end of the day. So as long as the DJ knows the right tunes, it's perfect. This is something that I don't know. And I it says entertainment while signing the register. And people keep saying magicians. I hate magicians. I don't want that to be a magician. But I'm like, what other entertainment can we do? Maybe like I don't know. So definitely need to think about that. My mum's saying something about having like a time. What is it? Like where you guess the time of the speeches and then everyone puts a pound in and then whoever wins wins the money so that is something we might consider yeah so that's something we might consider doing but we don't know if that's like the last pictures are going on like the bridesmaids can go around and group them and get money from everyone <laughs> um but yeah that's something we might do but i'm not sure about entertainment like when i went to a wedding there wasn't any entertainment so we might not even need any but then some of the weddings that I went to, they were moving from the church to the venue, whereas we're staying in the same place. So I guess there is that kind of gap. Walking down the aisle. Music. Now I do have a song that I have in mind and a song for walking back down the aisle. Um, I would like to walk down the aisle to here comes the sun. I don't know if that's a bit vain, but you know. I just love that song, I think it's so cute, it makes you feel happy. So that's the song I want to walk down the aisle to. And then I want to walk back up the aisle, like away from everyone to. There she goes. <laughs> that one? What is that even called? Is it called There She Goes? There she goes again. It's called There She Goes, yeah. So that is what I want to walk back down the aisle to. I feel like. I mean, I'm making it all about me, but it's fine. <laughs> James can deal with it. <laughs> so those are my ideas for the music. I don't know, do you have to have music whilst the ceremony is going on? I don't know. That's something I need to think about. But anyway, photographers and all that stuff. So I have a friend who's a photographer, so I'm going to ask her, I think, to do my photography. Um videography i don't know i think james said he has a friend who can do videography so I might ask her also there's like people at uni that i met that i know can do good videography because that's what that course was so i mean i can always you know dm them see if they do wedding videography um and all that sort of stuff so definitely that there's also i don't know i see it sort of tiktok and i kind of want one but of I also, I don't know if it's like something that I need. Oh, it's definitely not something I need, but there's like a wedding content creator. So they come and then they take videos like that you can post for your social media. So it's like behind the scenes, um, like TikTok trends, like all that sort of stuff. But like, so you can post it on your social media. Whereas like obviously a video firm photographer like professional shots like not necessarily designed for social media whereas like this person does that and i know that like people say like oh your bridesmaids and like maid of honor can do all of that but like also that means they can enjoy the day and they don't feel like they have to so 
that is an idea but I don't know anyone I saw a TikTok and she was she was English but she lived in Australia so at first I was like yes and then I was like oh she was all the way in Australia so I don't know if there's any other English people that do it if you know them comment them down below because I would like to know get into the church on time well we are not oh here we go flowers is next I skipped a page okay this is where I'm like I think for flowers I'm gonna have like white and greens just like neutrals go with the like the bridesmaid dresses and all of that stuff especially if we have at the venue that we went to because they will have like loads of different colour flowers like everywhere I don't want to have like them clashing or like being too much of one colour so I feel like the green and white will just be perfect and it kind of like goes with everything so that is what I think and I don't know yet to have real or fake flowers because for real would be nice but also is my dress gonna get wet from the stems like I can't keep them forever unless I press them do you know what I mean so still undecided about fresh or fake flowers but we'll see you know all of that but there's like so much like corsages bouquets oh so many things okay we're not getting to the chapter I also have no idea how I would get to the venue vows it says you could write vows is invited that is oh that's actually really handy we do actually have this on a what do you call it spreadsheet okay it says prepare prepare to party the reception so venue okay it will be the same venue seating plan now this is something that I'm unsure about because we don't know like with food and stuff the only time people can really be sat down is for the speeches because we want to have like food trucks and stuff so if people want to like eat outside it's fine like they don't have to sit down at the tables but I guess we still have to make a seating plan and also I feel awful like who's closest to us or even like I don't even know if we would just be in the middle and everyone would be around us like how does it work I don't know We'll have to think about that. Got those loads of pages for seating plan. How many people are there having? Oh, food. Yeah, so we would have food trucks. I'm thinking barbecue vibes, like burgers, hot dogs, maybe pizzas, that sort of stuff. It's gonna be hard to cater for everyone, but I feel like it'd be better than doing a sit down meal. Because that's not a bit of me. When I went to the weddings I went to, like, yeah, the sit down meal was lovely, but also I felt like I ate so much, and also you have to eat everything that's on your plate. Whereas when you've got like burgers and stuff, like, Everyone loves a burger, do you know what I mean? So that's definitely what we want rather than a sit down meal. Booze, I don't even want to get into that right now. Cake. Okay, for cake, we're not having a cake. Well, what we want is this. So a little cake at the top and then just loads of donuts. Not everyone likes cakes, like Jane doesn't really like cake, but he'll happily have a little, you know, glazed donut and also I feel like more people will have like the donuts and eat cake but there also will be a little bit of cake for those that like cake me I do love a bit of cake I don't know if that's gonna be you that's I love a bit of chocolate a bit of Vicky sponge that's nice or maybe even lemon those are like would be my go-to's nothing fancy and just the one lip cake aftermath Okay, this is all about prices and stuff. Honeymoon, I'm not even going to get that. We haven't really decided or even thought about it, to be honest with you. But yeah, that is kind of the overview of me planning my wedding, what I want it to be like, a video thought process for myself. I can look back, like, when we do the wedding, like, oh my god, I wanted that at the wedding, and look at us now. But yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. You probably didn't really care about my wedding, but if you did, thanks so much for watching. And also keep tuned for more wedding videos. They'll definitely be a bit more action packed, hopefully, with like obviously more venue seeing. I know there's like food tasting we have to do, wedding dress shopping, asking my bridesmaids, all of that I would want to be filmed so I can watch you back. So yeah, thanks again for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Bye.